Hi everyone and welcome to our travelling home day from Prague to Manchester Airport. Now unfortunately we're just about to check out of our hotel which we've had a lovely time haven't we? It's been really really good. Yeah, yeah. definitely recommend it. It's called Golden Angel Suites. If you haven't already checked out our like tour around the hotel go and check that out and our rest of our Prague vlog go and check them both out they're really good vlogs. Um, but yeah ready to check out and ready to head to the airport. One last time. So all checked out of our hotel and then we're just going to head back into the old town because I think Vicky wants to grab a... Well, we both want to grab a chimney cake. Yeah, a chimney cake, so let's go and grab one. So before we head home, we've had one more stop at the Old Trek chimney cake and we've grabbed ourselves just a classic one. This is pretty much for Vicky's breakfast. <laughs> little snack and I'll finish up what's left. And then one more final view of the old town, the astronomical clock and the church of our lady before time. Only feels like yesterday since we're at the top of the clock there. Just seems to have flown by, doesn't it, Vic, this, this little trip? Yeah, we're sad to be leaving, but maybe another time we'll come back and visit this beautiful city. All right, so we're going to order our Uber, Uber Airport, 608 crowns um, from our hotel to the airport. And that's about 21 pounds. And for the convenience, I think that's a lot, a lot easier than getting like a bus or a train and stuff. So yeah, let, let's get our Uber to the airport. Yeah, Vicky, our, our Uber's here. So we just got out of our Uber. What bit? Oh. <laughs> so, basically, we're right, razzing it in and out of the lane, so we're like, Going in and out. Um, it's been yeah. way over the speed limit. Yeah. Was, like, I thought it was in Fast and Furious. Me and Vicky looked at each other like. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, we're here at the airport now, um, Terminal 1. Let's go and show you what it's like. So, we don't need to drop any bags off, so we're going to head straight to the gates. So we just got through border control kind of thing, so no security, and just jumped straight into like GT3, which is a little bit unusual. So let's go and have a look around, anyways. So this is just looking at these for like mini mini wafers, uh, chocolate flavors. You have lemon, um, apple, and cinnamon. They sound nice. Yeah. And what are they? Apple and cinnamon. Yeah. So what are these? Yeah. Um, these are vanilla. Vanilla flavors, mm. like original. I'm guessing. Mm. I like the sound of apple and cinnamon ones. You're gonna go for the chocolate ones. I think so. These are for Sam. Yeah, back at my home. manager. So, I'm gonna get yeah, this. 69 <laughs> crowns, which is about two pounds something. You can get slightly bigger ones, which are pretty much double the price. That chocolate seems cool. This looks nice. Caramel and brownie chocolate. Ooh. Um, How much is that? That one is. Does it say the price on the bar? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 46. So they have all like your alcohol here. Um, we'll go and have a look at absinthe because I know that's like a Czech original. So here's your different absinthe kind of things. So you have loads of different options here. Here's like all your other alcohol, so like your typical stuff. And then all your perfumes are down here. We're we'll going to have a look at a certain perfume and tell you like the price comparison or something. So here's like. La Vie Espel, which is a uh, like um, that's about two hundred two thousand five hundred forty nine. So that's we're talking about hundred pound there for a seventy five ml bottle. So I'd say definitely cheaper back at home. Um, hundred ml, three thousand three three hundred fifty nine. So yeah, definitely cheaper back at home. Big Toblerone stand, which we love, but we've already got a packet. Quick price comparison: how much we're talking? Let's say this one here. So they have the uh, wafers that we actually got whilst we were in Prague. What, how much are we talking here? Yeah. We didn't really get anything. Actually. Let's say uh, yeah, about about five pound, four pound, five pound um, for these bags, which is pretty good. And then you're talking about 
11 pounds for that one again about four or five pounds for these bags so not bad at all so we just spotted this check glass here which looks really cool however transporting that back home on a Ryanair flight not too sure about that um but they look really cool and when i say like this fish it's about 100 pounds for one of them but that's really cool anything i say you know, anything cheaper you know, they're about they're all about 70 pound 80 pound all right so vicky went for three of them wafer boxes so really good we're finishing up in duty free now it looks like you're going towards your gates we're assuming that you do the security at your gates here it's a little bit confusing isn't it never seen anything like this so it looks like you do actually do the security when you go towards the gate which very unusual that never seen anything like it all right let's head upstairs to the food court now so restaurant options seem to be down here i'm assuming all right so that was definitely a little bit weird wasn't it yeah just a bit that was like it was like the it's like, it's like a staff room yeah like there's all staff there eating food so maybe we're just gonna head downstairs have a look there so they have a costa at least I just spotted these seats here that look really cool like a bit like a lounger you can watch like the planes in the distance cool that a lot of uh, seating area i'll give it that it's nice comfy seats as well the only thing we're saying is the food options mm. we've not seen much at the moment have we bit so we've just seen costa and a couple of other like pastry areas nothing like massive apart from that food court i think that may be the main main area to eat So we're just going to check like, all the gates A, B, C and D mm -hmm. and check what like, actual food there is. It's a massive airport, like, a lot of walking but not much to see. No. So we'll have, a, we'll have a look around for you. So there's nothing through C and D, you have to go through like passport control. So we're back towards the B and A gates and I think we're just going to grab something quick from Costa. Alright, let's see what we can grab inside Costa. So I think I'm going for the pinini ham and cheese and Vicky's going for the prosciutto bagel. bagel and they are 149 for the pinini and 190 for the bagel. I'm going to grab a raspberry lemonade as well which is 95 grams. So Vicky's going to grab herself this little pasta dish. Looks quite nice actually. Mm. Let's see how it is. Right, so we just finished the pasta and now we're off to our gate B10, Man Manchester. It's boarding now. How was the pasta by the way, Vic? It was good, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, really good. Okay, so we're now back from our lovely time in Prague. Now we're videoing this a long time after, <laughs> a long time after we got back. We're literally on holiday in America at the moment in Florida, which is going to be our next travel series, which is going to be coming. It's going to be coming next week on our vlogs. So look out. When I said set that reminder, it's going to be Friday, next Friday. Set your reminders for that. But yeah, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you've all enjoyed our day travel day home from Prague and I hope you I hope it's given you a good insight into what it looks like yeah. traveling home from Prague International Airport mm -hmm. yeah thank you all for watching I hope you've all enjoyed the video and if you have don't forget don't forget to drop us a like <laughs> I'm so tired at the moment We're don't forget to drop us a like comment any questions down below and the main thing is subscribe like I said yeah. that Florida series coming next week make sure you subscribe look out for that thank you all for watching and roll on the next one Beep.